sustainable world, essential items of lasting beauty are increasing in worth. Experience the fulfillment of creating heirlooms for succeeding generations with your own hands. Hi, my name is Frank Straza with the Heritage School of Woodworking. And in this video series, we're gonna go over how to make a dovetailed pine box here. This is an example of a box we're gonna make uh, where we'll have uh, four corners that are dovetailed with through dovetails. So we'll go over the dovetailing process for that. We'll actually shape the bull nose edge with a hand plane. We'll set the hinges with a chisel by hand and we'll complete the box. There's variations you can do on the box, uh, such as inlay on the top there. This is a little bit of marquetry hand cut. And uh, so there's lots of variations you can do. I've even inlaid a star on the top or somebody's initials or a, even a, a flower element such as this here. So lots of variations you can do there. The tools that you'll need are not very many. You need just a, a, a few tools. As you can see here, we've got a, a mallet, an assembly mallet, good layout square, pencil, dovetail saw, a coping saw, um, tape measure, a couple chisels, three quarter inch chisel and a three eighths chisel, a marking knife, a cutting gauge, dovetail template marker, and a plane here. The wood that you're gonna need here is uh, simple. You just need a couple few pieces here. These are the, the two ends, as you can see. We've got the front and the back right here, and the top and the bottom. So you can find the uh, plans and the uh, cut list for these materials in the resources page down below. And if you're uncomfortable milling up the material yourself, you can also uh, click on the link below in the resources tab there to buy a complete set from us, a complete set of milled material, just like I have here, ready to start your box. And that will include the hinges as well. So I hope you can join us for this series on making a dovetailed box, from the layout to the dovetails, to hand planing the edge, to setting the hinges, and finally finishing. <laughs>